the state of Maryland is being sued by more than 400 survivors of alleged child sexual abuse. It's juvenile justice system after a new law eliminated the civil statute of limitations for cases such as those. In a broadcast exclusive, Adriana Diaz spoke with the champion of this new law and a survivor who says she now feels empowered. A warning, some of what you're about to hear in this story is disturbing. Now you got a ton of bricks on your shoulder. It's just like the bricks then dropped off. 49-year-old Claudia McLean was just 13 years old when a judge sent her to this Maryland juvenile detention center for stealing. Instead of reform, she experienced trauma. I was in my room. Uh, it was night. The door open. Your body clenched because you don't know what the f is going on. And then right after, short time later, happened again. Then again. Then again. Would you stay up at night hoping to not hear the sound of keys at your door? After it happened to me, it wasn't no really sleeping because it was the fear. McLean says she told her mother, who complained to authorities. And nothing happened? Nothing. It continued? It continued. How did you cope? You get angry, start blaming yourself, depression, uh, try to commit suicide. Um, I'm just starting to come to terms with about 10 years ago, to be honest. On average, it takes survivors until they're 52 to report cases of child sex abuse, and 86% of these cases never get reported. The Child Victims Act of 2023 makes Maryland the 10th state to eliminate the civil statute of limitations for all child sex abuse claims, allowing survivors to sue at any time. We're finally seeing the law catch up to what trauma experts have been telling us for years. We can't expect children to come forward in the same manner, they simply can't even process what has happened to them in, with insufficient time. Attorney Sharon Iskra represents McLean. She's leading lawsuits against the state of Maryland, alleging it, quote, failed to protect children in its care. How many people have come forward to you? Over 400. Numbers rising. I have had people break down on the phone with me. Sometimes we break down together uh, and they say, Finally, someone believes me. CBS News found more than a dozen reports over the last six decades that detail abuse in Maryland's juvenile detention centers. Why not go after the perpetrators themselves, sue them? Because the state put them in charge. Shouldn't we hold the state responsible? And the people who read these reports, they could fix it. And I don't know why they didn't. We reached out to Maryland's attorney general's office, who said they cannot comment due to pending litigation. This really allows us to open their books, find out what they were doing, and how they covered things up. C.T. Wilson is a delegate in the Maryland State House. As a child, he was sexually abused by his adoptive father. And after the physical abuse, the sex abuse would always follow for the slightest mistake. He's fought for nearly a decade to expand the window for child sex abuse claims. How many times did you introduce this legislation? At least six, at least. The Child Victims Act of 2023. That's Wilson behind Maryland Governor Wes Moore in April, witnessing his bill become law. I really didn't think it was going to pass, so it was very surreal to see that, you know, see a signature on it. What do you say to the people who made it possible for you to bring this lawsuit? Thank you. Without them, we'd still be sitting in silence. I feel like I'm not only friend me, I'm friending people that may be there right now, the past and the future. Now, in this and similar cases, the state could settle or could go to trial where a jury will decide whether the state needs to pay damages, money. Now, what's key, though, is that through this legal process, there could be discovery and depositions where more information could come out, names of potential perpetrators, details about what may have happened, and advocates hope that that could even lead to criminal charges. Tony? Yeah, when people are supposed to be protecting other people and they don't, there need to be consequences. That's an eye-opening interview under a new law there. Uh, Adriana Diaz, thank you very much.